hello and welcome to robot framework tutorial in this tutorial I'm going to explain you about the variables in robot framework so the first tutorial about the variables will be about the scalar variable that are supported in robot framework and as you can see in this particular header page dot robot file um, the input text there is an element uh, web element and in this web element which is the text field I am passing the text mobile and this text is actually hard-coded in this particular page object now with the use of scalar variables what you can do is you can define the value that is defined here as the search field into a variable and you can use it in any place that you are looking for so for example I can define the search text so to define the variable uh, the syntax is pretty simple so the scalar variable starts with dollar and then the curly braces and then the name of the variable so here the name I'll be providing is um, search text all right and then two spaces and provide the value okay so I'll just cut the value here and paste the value in the variable section now to use this search text value in your keywords simply copy that and in the place of the actual value we'll just paste the variable name here right search text so the recommendation in robot framework about the variable naming is uh, to use the lower case for the local variables however if you are defining the global variables it is recommended to use the uppercase syntax for the global variable so for example you are defining global variable simply you can choose as global variable whatever name you're looking for so that basically uh, gives a clear indication that the uppercase variable is the global variable and the lowercase variable is the local variable right so I'll remove this line from here and now you can see this is the scalar variable starting with dollar curly brace and the variable name and then I have used the scalar variable in the keyword section here for the input text right so now I don't have to hard code any value in the keyword section here for the test case and I can change any value for the search text directly from here and if this particular variable is being used at multiple keyword sections so for example I'm using the same search text keyword in another keyword section say for example here and I'm defining another keyword search for another text something like that uh, so the, which is just a dummy keyword that I have created now I can use the same variable that I have defined here and I don't have to use the actual values in the variable in the keyword section here right so the advantage for that is so for example this variable is being used at 10 different places in this particular uh, page object file then you don't have to go and update this value at 10 different places the only thing you have to do is simply change the value here so for example i want to change the value to robot the search text to robot and then the test case will automatically pick this search text as robot and run the test right so for example let's open the test case here so this test case what it's doing is from header page it's inputting the search text and clicking on the search button right so in this header page this is the search text that will be searched for so let me run this particular test case and see the results so here you can see that I'm having the two test cases the one is for the advanced search let me remove this I'll just cut this and only run one test case which is basically to input the search text and click on the search results uh, click on search button and then verify the search results right let me run this particular test case and see the results so it should 
search for the text robot this time. So here you can see it has typed robot, which is the scalar variable that we have defined. And then it will verify the results. And the test case failed. Let's see the report to see why the test case failed. I'll open the report. And if you see the test case, the message is page should have contained text results for mobile, but did not. The reason for that is because in the verification uh, file, if I open PyCharm again, you'll see search results page. Uh, what I'm verifying is page should contain results for mobile. So let's go to the test first. So here in the header page, I'm uh, inputting the search text and then clicking on the search search button. And then from the search results page, I'm verifying the search results. So if I open the search results page here, you can see what I'm looking for is results for mobile, but actually the search text that I have passed is results for robot because I have passed the text robot. So it should, the, the search result would be for results for robot, not for the mobile. And that's why the test case failed. So if I go back and change this text to mobile again and run the test, so let me save files and run the test again it should successfully run the test and this time the test case should pass so let's see that it types the mobile yes it did it did and then it will verify results for mobile and this time you can see one test total one passed right let's open the report and see the report details so here you can see the report is all green. Uh, the test case verification has passed because in the search results page, I'm verifying page should contain results for mobile. And in the scalar variable, I'm passing the text as mobile, right? So if I go to PyCharm, you can see the search text, which is the scalar variable that I have defined. I'm passing the value as mobile in the input search text box. Now, the other important thing to note about the scalar variable is that you can concatenate two or more variables that you have defined. So, for example, here in the search results page, what I'm doing is I'm defining or I have declared this value. So results for mobile in the keywords page should contain results for mobile. So I'm hard coding this value here. What I can do is I can define the variable here, right? So I can simply define the variable in this search results page and to define a scalar variable dollar two curly braces and i'll say um search results or search result right as the variable name and then i can specify two spaces or even if you can you want you can specify equal to in two spaces and then you can say results for and then you can replace results for with this particular variable that we have defined so i'll just copy and paste search result here and then this mobile is actually being defined in another header page as a variable right so we do not need to define this mobile uh, a variable for this text here we can directly get this variable detail from the other file what we need to do is we simply need to import the resource and to import this resource file what we can do is dot, dot forward slash and we can say header page because if you see this hierarchy here search results page is at the same level as the header page so we can just say dot forward slash header page dot robot file and now from this header page dot robot, there is a variable defined search text. We can simply copy that and use that in place of this hard coded value mobile, right? And now what will happen is let me change the spelling here, the spelling search. And now what will happen is so for the search result, it will when this test case will run in this particular keyword section, this variable will get replaced by the results for string and then will be concatenated with the search text that has been passed in the header page which is the mobile 
So actually this keyword section here will verify for the text results for mobile whatever text you will pass from here right so let's run this test and see the result so let me run it again and this time it should run and the test case should pass as is so it's opening ebay.com it will type in the text mobile click on search button and then it will verify the results right so you can see one test total one passed and it has the verification has passed so if i open the results again you can see in the all tests in the basic search in the verification section that it has picked up the variables here search result and search text and then you can see the values have been concatenated results for is the search result value coming from the search result variable and mobile is coming from the search text variable I'll show one more example. So now, for example, I want to change it to robot here in the he header page. Now, because I haven't hard coded this value anywhere in the search results, the test case should pass with the, this change as well. And I do not have to worry about changing this particular value or the variable value in n number of places. So let me run again. And now this time it should search for the text robot and verify for the results for robot text in the results page so it's typed in robot and it will verify for the results for robot so let me open the report again and in the report you can see it is all green and here in the verify search results you can see the keywords that we have defined and now it has verified for results for robot so that's the beauty of the variables in robot framework and this is the scalar variable that we have discussed in this particular tutorial so you can define the scalar variable if it is a local variable the good approach is to use lowercase to define the local variable uppercase for the global variable you can concatenate two variables that we have defined in the search results page so we have concatenated two variables you can use the equal to sign or simply two spaces to define the value or to define a variable and assign the value to the variable right so that's pretty much all about the scalar variable in robot framework hope you like the tutorial thank you very much for watching